And welcome back. Alright, so I didn't level up Helmfried last time. Let's do that now. I think I will probably go with medium armor eventually instead of Battleforged, which I was going for originally. Then again, he does have only 42 hit points. Let's keep both of them as an option, but I will take Vigorous Assault here. Let's see how that works out for us. And let's give him, I suppose, Fatigue, Resolve and Melee Defense. There we go. And let's fight these nachos. Now it's kind of strange, but I'm kind of hoping someone dies here. Because we have a full roster of 20 people. As long as it's not someone I care about too much. Also, let's let Deathhelm sit this one out, since a hammer, a one-handed one hammer especially, isn't going to be all that useful. Let's bring in... Um, someone who's frontline capable, so probably... Well, you're only level 1. Guess I could bring in Hilmar. Let him die, perhaps. Alright, let's see. So, a mix of tier 1s and tier 2 nachos. Not too afraid. Shouldn't be a problem. But if it is a problem and someone dies, like I said, I won't mind too much. Alright, so the majority of them are tier 2 nachos. Meaning this won't be actually a cakewalk, but like I said, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, let's be, I suppose, kind of aggressive here. Kind of. Yeah, Hilamar, step over. Maybe even here, actually. You can wait. Step over there. Let's start with the shield wall with you. Okay, nice shots. Alright, slightly risky position, but we want to stand on top of the corpses, so let's do it. Right. Could move here with Kata step. I guess there's not much of a point though. So let's not. Alright. Hmm. Okay, don't have a target for Helmfried now. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, can't be helped. Um, step over here, perhaps. It's fine. Take that position and might as well use Adrenaline. Okay, now this one's fleeing. Can actually step back now. Hmm. Move in as well, but I don't really want to get next to them. Well, that didn't do much. I was expecting more damage. Oh well. Okay, let's go for this one. Pretty good. 
even better. The only bad news about that is that this mid-sized nacho will probably now be able to stand on top of that corpse. It is what it is. Maybe we can kill it. Now, well, there we go. There's a corpse underneath this one now, though, so that one's next. Shouldn't be a problem, actually. There we are. I am liking the wild man perks a lot, so... Once we get people killed, getting more wild men would be nice. Would be nice indeed. Alright, seems to be quite an easy fight, as I predicted. Will you be able to feast, though? Maybe, but maybe not. Okay, I could go for a knockout, not at Come on. Knockout, 75% chance to stun. Or I could just go for the damage here. Between Ernst and Hilmar, can we kill this one? Yeah, let's go for the knockout, I think, this time. Well, that was a fail. Go for it again. Then again, how much fatigue is this? 25. Okay, well, let's actually not go for further knockouts. It is down to 82 hit points anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eat my words so that the nacho couldn't eat the corpse. Ouch. Okay, taking damage here, but since most of them are fleeing or dead, it won't matter. Come on, that was an aimed shot as well. Well, it is what it is. Alright. Just kill these last few nachos and be done with this. Okay, one more. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay. Couple of level ups, some nacho crap. Okay, so Hilmar, level 7. Plus 3, plus 4, that's very nice. Also, now we will get that resolve up since that's a plus 4 roll. Alright, so you will go medium armor. No Colossus for you. Take Poise. Okay, damage to hit points from attacks is reduced by 23. Okay, well, yes, we need to change this armor now. We don't really have, like, good medium armor, do we? You can relinquish this one, so do something like that for now. So medium armor... Damage to hit points from attacks is reduced by 30%. Damage to armor from attacks is reduced by 20%. 
Ignore one reach disadvantage when attacking a target with lower initiative than yours. Alright, effective hit points 98. Okay, let's take a look at this nimble guy. Who was it? You. Effective, effective hit points 132. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need better gear to make proper use out of that. It is what it is. So next up, lev level up Wilhelm, level 6. Let's get hit points, I suppose. And you already have Spear Mastery. Quite a few options for you. Okay, so Savage Strength. The fatigue cost of weapon skills is reduced by 25%. That seems quite good. So Vanquisher. Immediately after killing an opponent, if you move into the tile of the kill target, the action point cost of the next skill used is halved. Unlocks the Gain Ground skill. Immediately after killing an adjacent target, you may move into their tile, ignoring Zone of Control. The thing with that is we only have 12 melee defense and this is a reach weapon. So maybe we won't go with that. Let's mark that in blue. Vigorous Assault is a thing as well. Through the gaps is a thing. Just Brawny or just Pathfinder are also decent options. This is currently 9 fatigue, but we will be attacking a lot, so I think let's get Savage Strength for now. There we are. 7 fatigue per attack, well, per prong. Next up, Quaze, who is our new recruit. Manhunter with no stars in resolve, but we kind of need the banner help. Did start with a plus four resolve roll. That's nice. Hmm. Actually, let's go with probably melee skill and melee defense with you instead of that plus four roll on initiative. And let's pick up nine lives. There we go. Also, you need to be in the fighting line. You are quite good as well. Need to train you up. Okay, Ernst can sit out, can also strip naked. There you go. Have that. And also that. There you are, feeling better already. Now what about the rest of you? Are you complaining? You are indebted, so you are not. You already were in the fighting line. Right, seems to be fine. Also, we do now have encumbrance here, actually. Yeah, we can't be using this, can we? Okay, problems. Problems. Alright, need to switch that armor around. So, will Wilhelm be using it? Maybe. Okay, that's fine. You can have this. And you can come back into the fighting line, actually. Let's let um, Theodobald sit out. That's probably good enough. Okay, now let's return. There we go. Um, yes, indeed, we are looking for the better banner, but... But, 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 we need to fire or kill someone. This guy has discovered talent. Well, that's good, but... Eh. I don't see anything special, so we can let those guys be. We do need more food, so let's buy the meat, I guess. There we are. We also need a lot of money. Lots of money needed. We could head out into the wilderness now. Maybe find some juicy brigand camps to destroy. Let's head to Salzburg first, though. Still would like to get more food. And if there's a good contract available, then that will be all the better. Also, no thank you, Lindworms. Goodbye. Please leave me be. Just leave me be. 
brigands. Okay, I will go af after them and hopefully be able to catch up to them as well. Caravan contract available. Probably not. One skull thief contract. Would prefer like a three skull one. Let's try out a few. Okay, you have leadership. And you also have swift and sure footing. So this guy might be worth it. Meaning that we need to fire someone. Who is it going to be? Who is the worst? Who is the worst? Maybe Kunold. Maybe Kunold. Yeah, Kunold seems to be quite bad, to be honest. Not horrible, but kind of bad. Alright, Kunold. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Goodbye. I will pay you so that we can get Valdemar the Luckmaker. Alright, Valdemar. Three star resolve. There we fucking go. There we fucking go. Also starts with 10 melee defense. 54 hit points. Star in initiative. Alright, that means that you will also be leaving us. Quays. You were a waste of money. Goodbye. Alright. Valdemar the Luckmaker. You will be our excellent banner. As long as you survive. Hopefully you can survive. Let's give you the... Mm, yes. Well, we don't need to give you the banner just yet. So what we will give you is good armor though. And definitely keep you in the back line. Definitely do that. So you can have a net. So you need a good helmet. We only have like... 60s and 50s though. I might even care about this new Bannerman more than I care about someone like Voldemar. So let's actually give him the good helmet. And you need a new helmet now, so that will be this one. There we are. Now you do get 9 lives as well. I think we will pick that up. Excellent find. The only... Well, bad thing about this guy is that he has three stars in range skill. But that's the only, only waste. That is the only waste there. So do we take that one skull? I think we need the money, actually. But maybe we go for the brigands first. Maybe we can get... No, the lindworms are going to do it. Okay. Never mind. Or are they running away? They're actually running away from the Sonheim company. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see if we can catch up to the brigands before the Sonheim company does. I'll also save the game now in case of a crash. Come on. Can we catch up to you? Don't want to fight with the citizens. Also, it is night time. Meaning that maybe we leave the ranged guys out of this. That's a good opportunity to actually bring in people who need some training or just time away from the reserves so that they don't lose their mood. So maybe Ernst comes... Well, maybe Musa. Yeah, Musa can come back in. Okay, there we go. There we go, that should be good enough. Zero range characters for this. Okay. As long as I can fight without the citizens. There we are. Okay. Eight enemies should be fine as long as we don't get unlucky. This guy doesn't even have a helmet. How foolish of him. Mm, okay, so now we definitely can get Hilmar killed. For now, I think I will use him quite aggressively, but not get him purposefully killed. Just yet. Not just yet. 
But the time may come very soon where I will decide that his time has come. Alright, Voldemar, go after this guy. Miss a 51 and 61. Up a step or no, I think yes. Okay, stupid move, I'll take it. Good hit. Okay, Hilmar, let's go for the 85. And miss. <laughs> this guy is still alive with three hit points. Okay. He only has ten initiatives, so he won't be able to do anything. With Vigorous Assault, we could have attack there again I think I think it works like that then again, then again I don't know if it messes with the free attack from the spear mastery if that's going to cause an issue with that perk well we'll eventually find out probably all right I can go for a knockout here Hmm. I can probably kill this guy though, so. Nah. There we go. Let's actually step in there. 79. Good. Very nice indeed. Step in there as well. Well, that's less good. Alright, goodbye to you. Just wait here, I suppose. As well as there. You can advance, I think. Despite being level 1. 30%, 32. But this one. Well, now it's 5%, 5%. Okay, well, never mind. That works. That also works. fleeing. Well, whatever. Let's just go for the kills already. It doesn't matter. There you go. Valdemar racking up the kills in his first fight. Quite nice. Okay, one more. One more. There we are. Alright, Sivart gets a level up. Get some loot. Alright, Sivart, level 3. Let's get the hit points and the melee skill, probably. 
yeah. All right, and also pick up fast. Rep eh, do I? Mm, nine lives. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll get nine lives first. There we go. Now we will probably take the follow the tracks contract as well. That will be some easy experience as well as some loot that we can sell. Yeah, let's do it. Also, do we need more food? Well, we will very soon at least. Also, this is quite cheap. I can buy it later though. With perhaps a better price as well. Let's follow these tracks and take care of these fools. Did anyone get hit there? Doesn't look like it. Meaning that we can just go into the fight. Uh, let's let Hilmar sit out though. Bring in... Theodobold, maybe Ortwin as well for someone. Hmm. Well, let's train the people that we currently have in the lineup. Okay, they have one poacher. I might just keep our range characters out of this fight as well, since this is quite easy and it's good time to level people. Then again, Leberth and Wolfgang do need one more level for Nimble, which would help quite a bit. I would like to level up everyone, but I can't. I just can't. Maybe I bring in like one. One of these guys. Hmm. Okay, let's let Seward sit this one out and bring in... Probably Wolfgang. Alright. Something like that. And if they have a Necromancer, then I will re-evaluate our lineup. But this is only a one skull contract. And they don't. Okay, come at us, please. Are you coming? You are coming, okay. This is quite the poor, poorly equipped group of bozos that we are facing. Will be no problem at all. Famous last words. Alright. Step in there. Go for the reach weapon and hit one. Excellent. Oh, don't go for Valdemar, you asshole. Not until he has nine lives at least. Well, you didn't connect, so I guess it's not too bad. Okay, you're only level one still, aren't you? Yes, you are. In which case, let's not get next to the golden deck there. Good. Hmm. You have 33 melee defense. Maybe we can step next to this guy. Yes, we can. Quite easily, in fact. Right. It wrecked, sir. Now the question is, can we kill the poacher before he gets away? And the answer is yes. Okay, there we are. Hit and run, not that it's necessary. 
Very easy fight, but yes, indeed, this was a one skull contract only. Alright, well, the market's a level up. That's excellent news. We can now pick up nine lives. Let's maintain our relations. Not take that spore deal there. Alright, now you get nine lives. And you get more resolve. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm going to go with melee skill with a banner in this mod. I would imagine that it's like useful to some extent at least, but let's take a look at this command skill here first. So how much fatigue and AP is that? 5 AP builds up 20 fatigue. So something like that might, might supersede hitting things. And I might want to go for just survivability to some extent, meaning I will maybe ignore this melee skill here. Not sure about that though. I would also like to get more fatigue. There is no mind over body in Reforged, which is, well, those who know, they know. In Legends, if you have a high resolve and you also get mind over body, then you can lower fatigue cost of everything by quite a lot, but that doesn't exist here. Meaning that we do need more fatigue on this guy if we plan to use something like this command. Also, you'll be going with heavy armor, right? Yes, you will. Did I erroneously say that you had access to medium armor earlier? I might have. Well, that means that initiative is useless. To some extent, at least. Because we don't get dodge anyway. In which case, we are not going to take this plus 5 here. Which means that we can take the melee skill. Okay, well. A lot of talk and that's the result. The melee skill will be useful early on. Even if it just so happens that later on it might not be. Right, return to Salzburg. There we go. So this caravan was going to Sommersborg. Now let's take a look. Where is that? Where is that? That's way over there. Okay, so that's it's quite un quite unlikely that we'll get there without being attacked by something that we'd need to flee from. And also, if we run into something easier, they will most likely run away from us. So let's not take that caravan, I don't think. We also don't have the money to buy any famed equipment that might spawn. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy something here, right? Yeah, we can just afford all of that. Now we do need to quickly head into somewhere where we can offload all of that. Let's sell some of this junk here first. It's a decent enough price. Decent enough. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let's keep moving. Let's go to Fro Forest Land, and after that, we might head into the wilderness. Find some good camps to destroy. We can't take on undead lairs yet. At least if they have ghosts, since we don't have related troops just yet. Okay, grave robbers. Okay, hmm. Maybe. So that might be brigands, or that might be something else. As far as I remember, there are no ghosts that can spawn in these contracts. Though I might be mistaken with that. I think we'll take this. Let's take it. It's over here. 
right? We do want to have our top lineup, whatever that is. Which means you get to sit out, you get to go in, you get to sit out, you get to go in. But maybe I will leave Hilmar out of this. Let's take a look at our front line here. Everyone has like a decent amount of levels, I think. Well, okay, Theodobald. 45 hit points and no 9 lives, so let's bring in someone else instead. Okay, maybe Ortwin. Maybe Ortwin. Do it like this, maybe. You get to be on the flank. Okay, so yeah, let's see what we are facing. Hopefully nothing too nasty. Let's hold off armored wiener gangers and some fallen heroes. Alright. Fallen heroes. Hmm. First time we face those. Though I'm not sure if this if this contract can actually change what we are facing here. It's possible. I think it's possible. Well, let's go in and see, I suppose. That's no man, sir. There's undead afoot. Okay, it is the same lineup. Let's fall back for a moment. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the armored wiener gangers, but since there is no necromancer, I suppose we can take them. We might want to leave Valdemar out of this though and bring in someone who can actually hit things. Which means Hilmar is coming after all. Or maybe Ernst. Let's bring in Hilmar. If he dies, he dies. It's a good chance to get rid of him. Alright. Um, spear wall might be useful here, actually. So who's a spear specialist? You are. I would also like to use the Warfork for just the Warforking. Just the pronging. You're also a spear user, but we could give you a one-handed spear for this. Let's do that, and you have a fighting spear. Let's do a switch there. So, yeah, it was you. All right, you can spear wall on the flank. You only have 64 melee skills, so might fail. So is there a minus chance to hit with this? I don't see any. Also, Spearball is not as good as it is as it is in Legends, because you can basically maintain that forever with the right perks in Legends. Still pretty good here, though. All right, I think that's going to be it. Let's go in. I could, in theory, dagger down some fallen heroes here, but probably don't want to. Like this one, for example. But he's building a long sword, which is very dangerous. So I don't think I want to do any of that. Also, we might make good use out of arrow to the knee for once. Take a mo we'll look at it in a moment. So let's increase the combat speed a little bit. Go to 1.5. Okay, auto repost. Interesting. I'll just let them advance, so let's not do anything with the front line just yet, I don't think. Okay, so arrow to the knee on this one is 43. I think it's worth it trying for it. Fail and fail. What about you? 44. Fail. Okay, there we go. Took an arrow to the knee. So now it will take this one forever to actually reach us. Okie dokie. Hmm. 
Now we don't have another good target just yet, so let's go for regular damage. Right, I think we'll still just wait. Keep waiting. Alright. So now we could start using Spear Wall. Can we actually activate it when we are next to someone? I think we can. Can still be used and continues to give free attacks. Um, hmm. Hmm. I could just hold this position and not advance with Hilmar either. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Or we could go for this cluster of enemies here. Let Valdemar with his 64 melee skill spear wall attempt holding them back there. Yeah, I think we will go for it. It's kind of risky to some extent, but whatever. Let's go for it. Go for it, I say. Okay, could go for arrow to the knee here. That's only 23. Let's not. Just go for damage instead. Okay, what is this, by the way? No, not dodge. Okay, skirmisher? Yeah, skirmisher. Alright. Mm, go for... Maybe the fallen hero already. Okay. Actually stunning them would be quite nice as well. Can't do that currently unless heal a mark and stun one of them at some point. Alright, go for damage over here. And I don't care if Hilmar dies, so let's wait in there. Might go for the fallen hero. Probably. This is a 93 though. Let's, let's actually go for the 93. Do I step in there with 13 melee defense? I don't think so. Alright. Also, yeah, I shouldn't have activated Spear Vault there because obviously we act before they do. Oh well. Okay, now let's go for the Fallen Hero. Oh yeah, it has has repost. Should have remembered that. Oh well. Getting what did we is this the one? No, that's not the one. Is it? Are you the one? Yes, you are the one. Okay. Confused again. Oh well. Um so let's go for damage actually instead. For this one. Missed twice. Hmm. Disappointing. I am kind of scared of these fallen heroes. We might be losing people. Especially if we can't hit anything. Well, we do have a full roster, so... What ifs? Actually go for an aim shot here. What are your skills with a long sword? Okay. 
meaning we can take that position and not worry about Helmfried's safety. Right, go for that. Don't think I want to use spear wall in this spot. That's not going to do much. Okay, let's wait and see how bad this is going to be. Spear wall is working. There we go, getting hit on Hilmar, but like I said, Hilmar can die. Ouch. Good. All right. Hold the same position, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline kind of kind of useless here. Well, actually, hmm, we are starting to get down on initiative. Eh. Hmm. So I could go for the knockout, but it is 28 fatigue, so maybe not. Maybe not. Don't want to cut a step, I don't think. Acts in seven, acts in five. Okie dokie. Let's use special weaker already. Good damage. Spear ball is still doing work. Hmm. Forty percent for arrow to the knee. Nope. Okay. Actually, maybe we shouldn't kill this one because of the fallen hero there. Let's go for that one instead. Okay, 58% for the fighting spear left. We'd actually try to move. That is allowed. Hmm. Here or here. There. Never mind, we were hit by 22. That might be the end for Voldemar. Over that. Nope. Zombies coming back, and yes, indeed, we can't use spear wall anymore. Can do that though. Let's so step back. Out of arrows. The first stack that is. And done. Acts in 12. Yes, we'll just go for the fallen hero. And you can go for which one? Maybe this one. Another miss, huh? And yet another miss.
Okay, one fallen hero down for the first time. This one does have the great axe though and is coming. Also it seems that the arrow to the knee effect has worn off. As far as I can see. So it doesn't actually last forever. Ouch. Double ouch. Might be losing rat one. Um, let's not kill anything just... Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do kill something just yet. Actually, 64. Yeah, let's go for the arrow to the knee here. There we go. Alright. Recover, probably. The rat one might be dead in a moment here. That's fine. Okay, military cleaver. That is quite dangerous for Ortwin. of fatigue we will get um, battle flow eventually though to help out with that if he survives which is not guaranteed okay it's in nine acts in three acts in six Melee defense is 14, you have a reach of 8. I think we can take take the chance against this Wiener Kanker. And miss. Okay. Hmm. Out of arrows. Alright, also this is problematic. We do have rotation access with Wolfgang though. Maybe now's the time to use... Well, is it? Just because of this one. Um, actually, no, it's not time to use that. Definitely isn't, actually. Step in here, maybe. Right, and Hilmar can help with this cleaver guy. We can even try for the stun now. 51... That's not a very high chance to succeed, but let's try it. And we did. Okay. Excellent. And there you go. There you go. Let's see. Has killed Rod 1. Oh well, rest in peace. Hmm... Go for this, maybe. Okay. We're probably going to lose this dog as well. Is what it, it is, what it is, of course. Good job. How many arrows do we have left? Nine. Even so, I think we go for an aimed shot here. Not do all that much against armor. Fifty-one. Okay.
Nine arrows for you as well. Act in three. Act in one. But you might have to use recover. This guy is very dangerous, but not much we can do about that. Getting hit by the Great Axe is going to hurt a lot. Alright, so how many times can we even attack? Once. Well, in that case... Maybe we actually wait first and then use Recover. I hope that doesn't stack. Wear them down. It does stack. Okay. Or oh, never mind, that's the stacking 20% chance, so the worn down shouldn't stack, I don't think. Alright. Yeah, I'll wait. I will wait. Um, let's go for the fallen hero, I suppose. And miss. Okay, that's bad. Knockout 61, excellent. Ouch. Okay, we might be losing Hilmar and we might also be losing... Are you both named Hilmar? No, you're Wilhelm. We might be losing Wilhelm and Hilmar. That's going to suck. Oh well. Gets hit. Fifty five over it. Nope. All right. Well, you need to kill something to stay alive. I uh, probably want to cut a step away from this fallen hero, even though it doesn't have a weapon. Eight arrows left. Okay, hmm. getting next to this guy might be worthwhile because that presents another target. So let's take a look. Actually, we have that flail perk. Um, which one is it? No, we don't actually have it. Okay. But we have Flail Mastery. Yeah, this is the thing I was looking for. From all sides. Lowers defenses. Okay, so that doesn't lower their melee skill. Um, it might use Round Swing. So let's not do anything with you just yet. It's not going all that well. If this goes horribly badly at the end here, I might even use the safe scum. We still have two of those. But this might be the end for Wilhelm. And no more fatigue to use knockout. Well, we can use the first one for free. No luck this time. And he's dead. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, killed. Okay. I can accept that. Oh, wrong target there. Dog gets knocked back. That's actually fine with us. And here's Wiener Gang and Rod 1 to join the fight. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Need to take aim shots here. Running out of arrows. We miss even those. Hmm. Protect heal martyr. Six arrows left. Alright, let's just go for damage now. Okay, that was a 49 by the way. Against 29 melee defense. Don't underestimate fallen heroes, it seems, is the lesson we've learned. Dog is fleeing, dog is going to die in that case. Right. We are getting through this fight, it seems, but it is quite costly. Um, how many arrows? Five. Let's go for two regular shots. Hit the head and miss one. Okay, there you go. There you go. One more down. Three left. Good job, Hilmar. Dog lives. Okay. Way to go, dog. And here's... Wienerkanger Wilhelm. Back from the dead. him and miss. Really don't want the fallen hero here getting to Leberecht, so I will step here, I guess. Just use recover. Go for an aimed shot on probably Wilhelm, actually. Also, does he have the same perks that we gave him? No. Okay, well, that helps. Keep running, dog. I don't like that. Please die again. Only two enemies left. So a pretty tough fight, but we got through it. I don't remember how many times these ones have come back. You can just recover. Okay, there we go. Two deaths. That's fine. Also get three level ups. Some ancient gold coins. We get the throwing nets back. We get the dog back. We get the great axe. We get the military cleaver. Overall, quite a good result, actually. 
quite a good result. But that's enough for now. I will level these guys up next time. Thanks for watching. I will see you then.